This is a small cut from one of the streams that I've done lately. Uh, link is in the description if you are curious. This is more or less a rant about what games mean for me and how I see games from a philosophical point of view. And I was like, yeah, all games are travel made, man. You don't see that anymore with pre-made engines. Because you have more possibilities, right? One of the things about having too many possibilities is that you can do so much and limitations make you improvise and uh, limit... So, if you think about games, philosophically, thinking about games, what are games? Games are simulation of the universe with a subset of all the possibilities that you can do. In the universe you can play whatever you want, right? We, we can do whatever we want in this universe. Of course, we are limited by our physical body and maybe our intellect, but after all, like, think about the amazing stuff that people did without technology, the pyramids, uh, all the seven wonders of the world, actually. Uh, the civilization, you know, like we, we rose and, and fallen. We have all these fascinating things that we can do in the universe. Games, on the other hand, they're like a reduction of the possibilities of the universe to just a subset of, of the possible things that you can do. It's all a game. It's all just a game, right? Uh, but but if you think about games, I don't know. Like, think about chess. You have a subset of stuff that you can do. Uh, think about this game. You can only do a subset of stuff. Uh, think about uh, 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 tic tac tic tac toe, right? It's a subset of very simple rules, and that actually makes it fun. Because like I, I don't know. Think about football, right? You you go out with your friends. You play ball. You enter in this world where the rules change, the rules are simpler than the, the rest of the world and now you play this rule set and this limitation adds beauty. You, you, you give up on some complexities of, of life to play this sub, smaller subset of something. And the same applies to art when you're like, you, you have like a... Imagine this, like you try to draw something on a one by one centimeter by one centimeter or one inch by one inch square, you know, like you have like this three centimeter by three centimeter uh, square and now your imagination explodes because you can you can do like a, like, a, like a sun symbol or you can do like a small fox and now you can think like, yeah, I can take this and you like, I can assemble them so I can make like a, like a different kind of art by assembling them, them together and you know, like all this kind of stuff. Making the games or coming up with them is actually a game on itself. Exactly right, it's like a subset. But what I'm trying to say is that reducing the stuff that you are avail available to work with creates interesting patterns. Because like, think about the game that I'm working on or think about the game that you are working on. We are reducing rules, like I'm reducing rules in here. I'm implying some limitations to then explore some game mechanics in those limitations that they intended, right? So limitations are great, so that, that, that's why we can see all this creativity, because it spawns this drive in the human mind to improvise, to make stuff, because like if we have infinite graphics, we are like, ah, we can do anything, what should we do? But if you say like, okay, we are on Mars, and we crashed. Now you can only do some of the stuff that you can do, right? Because some of the stuff wouldn't make, wouldn't make sense, right? Now you say like we are on Mars, we are crashed, we only have, we have only potatoes, we have a knife, and we have a spacesuit, right? And you now you have a survival game, right? What you can do, like you need to find this, you know, like all this stuff happens because we reduced the. Um, the rule set that we play with, exactly as you're saying, making the games or coming up with them is actually a game on it itself because you reduce the rule set, you say like, I will only work with this stuff, right? Let me know what you think about this, leave a comment below, let's discuss and, and explore this subject of games, what do games mean? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and also if you are interested, I also stream on Twitch. I don't have a fixed schedule, I just stream sometimes, mostly I try to do it two times a week, but sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye!